like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Heck, we're even on TikTok. We're excited to engage with you. We hope you'll join us moving forward. Good morning, it's Andrew with The Market Mindset. Today, we're catching up with Chad Williams, who's the executive chairman of Honey Badger Silver. This company is focused on the acquisition and development uh, and really providing key accretive transactions in the silver space. So let's catch up with Chad and see what he has to say. So good morning. Hello, Chad. How are you? It's great to catch up. Uh, happy holidays. We're in the Christmas season and, and uh, whatnot. But how's it going? I know you've done a lot of work in the last while and uh, certainly yeah. with management on the board. So how are you? I'm great. I'm doing very well. Thank you. Uh, and happy holidays to you as well. I, uh, In some ways, it's great that 2021 is, is going to be over. And uh, I guess there's every reason to be optimistic that 2022 is going to be great. Yes, right. I'm certainly optimistic, and why I'm glad is, that you are. <laughs> absolutely. Why? Why not? Let's let's dream big, right? Yes. Yes. Well, that's what this this story is about. A little, you know, uh, you know, a little bit of forethought, a little bit of patience, and uh, yeah. and a whole lot of hustle and work on your end. But mm -hmm. catch us up to speed since the last time we we caught up. Sure. Okay. So since the last time we spoke, um, I mean, generally the sector. Uh, let's talk macro first. Sure. The sector has not done particularly well. Uh, gold and silver uh, have not uh, attracted a lot of money, and, and we can debate for hours as to why that is. Uh, my personal opinion, and, and perhaps you share it, is that uh, a lot, it's a money flow issue. A lot of money is going to crypto and, and other, uh, the general market, really. Uh, there's a lot more money to be made in, in, in other sectors, it seems. And so our, our little sectors, the precious metal sectors, are, are, are not doing particularly well, but that's okay. Uh, seasonally, uh, January, February, March are, are good months for precious metals. Uh, and, uh, you know, I certainly believe that investors that are buying uh, not just Honey Badger, but generally precious metal stocks should do well uh, as a season of trade. There's tax law selling that should be over in the next week or so, all kinds of other factors. Now, those are the, mac the macro issues. In terms of Honey Badger, um, uh, like a duck, uh, we, 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 we look calm on the surface, but uh, underneath the water, we've been paddling like crazy in a good way. Uh, we've added a board member, John Hill. Uh, Ed Thoreau has joined us as president. Uh, and we have been extremely busy on the, mostly on the M&A front, looking, uh, cycling through uh, hundreds, literally hundreds of opportunities. And uh, we will be in a position uh, to make some announcements very soon. So uh, those of us uh, uh, investors in uh, Honey Badger that have been patient, um, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's time uh, for these things to come to fruition. And uh, we also were very active in the summer doing some, some, some albeit somewhat limited exploration at our Plata property. And we'll be releasing some uh, results from Plata very soon as well. So between now and year end, and certainly in early 2022, uh, Honey Badger will be uh, very newsy, if I can use that term. Well, that's good. Uh, I mean, I was, the first time we spoke, I was pretty highly motivated from hearing you speak on it and just knowing your track record and things you've been involved in and the confidence you had in it. Um, and we don't have any working arrangement or anything, but I went, I went ahead and bought the stock. So I, know, I like to tell people whenever I'm that motivated. So I was pretty motivated. Uh, mm -hmm. And even well, more you. so motivated in October when that that release of adding the board member because that's very significant because I mean it, it's I keep telling people it take you have to have everything you've got to have the projects you have to have the, the right metals but also the right economics which we have but you also to attract the, these type of people these right people they have to also see into that so we don't get that's to right. see the intricate everyday kind of process of the <laughs> business but certainly who's someone who's going to join the board would see the vision very clearly and to attract someone like that uh, speaks volumes. So I think that's, that's another thing that at, maybe add to the position because I was quite excited, uh, but also to hear there's news coming. Cause I always want to know what's the urgency. Why should I care right now? <laughs> so. Yeah. And, and John, you know, John, I've known for a long time. He's a great guy and a very smart guy and very trustworthy guy. And uh, 
I've known him for a long, I've, I respect him immensely. And, and, you know, we've been in discussions about a year now when I uh, effectively took over uh, the control of, of Honey Badger. Uh, and so John has been aware of, of what we're doing, why we're doing it. And, and I think him joining uh, after he's done his due diligence and seen, you know, he's kind of tested us a little bit. And I think that should give some comfort as well to investors that, that we're on, on, to, on, to, on to good things. And, you know, we're all doing this um, out of passion, certainly, but mostly it's to make money. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, we are bullish on the sector generally. Um, but, you know, there's only two ways to make money in this business. Either you find it or you buy it. And uh, right now it's a lot cheaper to buy it. There will, be, there will come a time where it's a lot cheaper to find it. And, and we will be asset rich uh, at that time. Uh, in the meantime, it's cheaper buy it and that's why we're very very aggressive and interestingly enough uh sometimes uh, it's the deals you don't do uh that make you a good company or a great company and there are three deals in particular that we came very close to doing uh but at the last minute uh failed did not pass our tests uh, for due diligence reasons one of them had some uh huge environmental concerns uh another one the um uh, geologically, it didn't hang together, and finally, a third one. Uh, there were some 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 local neighbors that uh, would have made the, the development of, of a deposit very uh, difficult. And so, again, sometimes it's the deals that you don't do that make you a great company. And and uh, I just want to make sure that investors are aware that we're busy uh, as heck here. And uh, and uh, but but the time has come for us to make some announcements. So stay tuned. We'll we'll we'll, we'll be we'll be very very. Uh, uh, generous on the news flow here. See, that's great. And I and people, it's so easy for people to sit back and be the armchair uh, president or CEO because they don't understand the amount of effort, work, negotiations, talks for just yeah. one of those situations. They say I it know. was a permit or just say it I was know. a neighbor that is a little testy that's going to be difficult. Mm -hmm. You start going down that path for six months and then you have to just stop. That's a lot of time and money and effort and everything. Um, it's huge. So to avoid those pitfalls is, is a huge upside. That's, that's right. And, you know, uh, on two occasions, I had to travel in the middle of COVID, essentially, uh, and, you know, uh, and, and go to the site uh, to see things because the vendors, of course, they don't disclose uh, the, the warts, you know. Yeah. And then you see it and you go, oh, my God, like this just is never going to get permitted or, oh, my God, you know, this neighbor will never allow this mine to be developed. Um, but anyway, it is what it is. Uh, that's the past. And, and there's lots of good things that we will announce. So, so, uh, you know, it, it is undoubtedly frustrating to walk away from deals. Um, but that's okay. Um, we're seasoned veterans. We've been there before. And, um, you know, you gotta kiss a lot of frogs to use the cliche before you find Prince Charming, huh? Absolutely. Absolutely. And I like that you touched on the seasonality. It's so important. Uh, you know, we, we've talked pretty openly about tax loss selling over here. Mm -hmm. Um, and also, I mean, not that it's silver, but still the, uh, the news yesterday, Ken Ross and the great bear re resources mm -hmm. deal, mm -hmm. hopefully that starts to kick off and, and motivate people to go, Oh boy, th this is, this is what can happen in this space. And for those that have been in it before, they remember how, what this looks like. And for someone new to go, Holy smokes! This does happen, and it does happen, and hopefully, it's it off the seasonality. Yeah, no, absolutely. And and one thing uh, for your listeners to to uh, you know they, they need to understand is that all of these producing companies chew through their reserves every day, and so they need to replace them. And uh, you know we're 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 a long way from from a great bear. I mean, we're we're just getting going, and yeah. you know we haven't made a major discovery or 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 anything like that. But the point is. Uh, I share your your view that it will attract attention. You know, it's headline making. It's multi billion dollar transaction if you had the capital cost of building a mine there. Uh, and uh, you know, the value creation in, in mining can be amazing. Uh, the value destruction in some ways has also been amazing and staggering. Um, but you know, the value creation is 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 amazing when it works uh, well, like a great bear said. And we can't we can't say what the news is. I wish we could, but we can't. But we know it's coming, so yeah. that's that's good. And we're going into January. We'll have VRIC. We'll have PDAC after that. People start getting a bit more motivated, and there's going to be lots of news flow. So I tell people, uh, put it on the side of your computer, put it out into your charts, take a quick peek at it, look at the yeah. news, 
Uh, and, uh, you know, for me, I always kind of come back to it's, you know, there's a, a market, there's a model and there's a mindset to these things. And if you're a bit patient mm -hmm. and you can see a good a vision, uh, and you look at the, the people that are being attracted to the projects, uh, sometimes not all, every time, but sometimes that can be rewarded pretty well. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. A, li a little, uh, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, all those things are true for sure. Uh, a little, a little bit of luck is also needed and. And, uh, you know, in a way, I, I kind of like the fact that the silver market hasn't run here because it's allowed us to be aggressive while everybody else is in the fetal position, uh, you know, uh, making sure the sky isn't falling. I mean, um, yeah, I think, I th I think our, our, our timing is going to look pretty good here. I think we'll be able to do some things and announce some things and, and hopefully uh, we'll time it right and the silver price will, uh, uh, will, 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 will uh, create a lift under our wings, if you will. Perfect. Uh, well, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. And you've heard it here. So I'm giving you advanced warning <laughs> to all the, all the subscribers to take a peek at this. Uh, yeah. And we're going to watch. We're going to follow to see the news and we're going to watch the news flow. And I'm really, uh, really happy to have you back on to catch us up with this. Um, I'm a big fan of the vision of the people you've got on board. So I'm looking forward to seeing what that news is uh, whenever it does arrive in the new year. Good stuff. Yeah. Thanks, Andrew. Thanks for the opportunity. And we'll talk to you soon.